Welcome to Upgrade, where I highlight characters increase in combat efficiency in multiple ways such as speed and power, whether it's something recent or an old defeat that has yet to be analyzed. Today we have three characters from the Saint Seiya universe. Virgo Shaka and Leo succeeded in nullifying the attacks of a powerful foe, the Titan Dimension Iapetus. The god controls the power of Dunamis an ancient power that gives gods the ability to manipulate energy and atoms in order to create and destroy. The Titan created an entire universe with Dunamis. His wife, Demis, created a planet filled with billions of worshippers, giving him cosmos. The Titan also created six Cyclops. Some fans theorize the eyes were once galaxies that the Titan shrunk. Either way, they managed to hurt Leo. Shaka somehow forced his way inside the universe and protected Leo Saint. In the end, Titan absorbed cosmos of all six Cyclops, a planet filled with billions of lives, and even his wife, another Titan. Iapetus is now at full power, perhaps even more so, but this is why Iapetus created the universe, so he could fight Leo all out without interference. While in a one on one fight, they would have surely died, but together, Shaka showed they can contend with the Titan to some degree, even with his eyes closed and Cosmos compressed. With his eyes open, he was able to paralyze the god and even hurt him. So, looking at these feats, I say Shaka goes from Galaxy Plus eyes closed, Multi Galaxy eyes open to Multi Galaxy Plus eyes closed, Universal eyes open, and Universal Plus with his technique. Tinbu Horn. Something to consider about Shaka. Shaka, by the time of the classic, is much stronger. As Nirvana Shaka, he is stronger as well. And with Agyo, he is arguably high-end universal with that technique. Even stronger during the events of episode G8. So possibly by the end, we could be looking at a high-end universal, multi-universal character all around. Garuda Ayakos one of the three generals of hell. It was revealed that galactic illusion involves creating an entire dimension. In this dimension you can clearly see planets and stars. This attack was noted to have likely killed Kanan, if not stopped by another general who agrees the attack could have killed him. Kanan is a saint comparable to the goat saint Gemini Saga, so this puts his destructive capability multi-galaxy level. Sagittarius Iolus the Antipope. It was revealed in his timeline he faced Zeus in possession of his brother's body. Zeus Iolo used divine thunderbolt, lightning used to kill and seal titans. Sagittarius Iolo easily shrugged off this technique. Then his brother, gaining control, left Zeus wide open for an attack. Taking advantage, he activates the ninth sense and blows Zeus in half. Zeus, one of the strongest gods in all of Saint Seiya. So even in this form, he is naturally above the likes of Julian Solos, possessed by Poseidon, whose power could over-encompass the entire universe, and well above the likes of a clothless Shun, possessed by Hades, who defeated multiple god cloth saints and Athena. This easily puts him at high-end universal, multi-universal.